Amen. God. And our clothes will not get us into heaven. Right. Right. And right. neither will lack of holiness. That's right. That's true. We have to have complete peace. Yeah. And we have to have complete holiness. Yes, sir. If it offends yes, God, it offends me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If it hurts God, it hurts All me. Right. Yes, sir. If God doesn't want me doing it, I'm not going to do it. Right. If God doesn't want me going there, I'm not going to go there. Yeah. If yeah. God doesn't want me wearing that, I'm not going to wear it. If God doesn't want me saying that, I'm not going to say it. Come on. Oh, my God. Come on. Oh, yes, sir. God. Yes, sir. Let's stand. I'm through. Please forgive me if I went over the time. But I see this repetition over and over in our churches. It doesn't even have to manifest itself at times. You know that there is a peace issue there. All right. All right. You know when there is war that's going on. Yes, sir. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. I remember in 1993, I was sitting at it because of the times. Brother Anthony Mangan was given his keynote address, and I remember he was under such an anointing that night. And he began to speak uh, with the prophet. Uh, he, he gave a prophecy, and he said, it will be a revival or a funeral for some of our churches in 1993. And that year, sure enough, some of our churches exploded. But then other, some of our other churches, we heard some horror stories. All right. But how does that happen? We have to pursue peace. Yes. yes. I have to pursue peace in right. my own life. Right. 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 I have to pray through to the peace of God in my own life. Yes. Lord, I worship you. Because if I'm not at peace with him... I'm not going to be at peace with anyone else. If I'm not at peace with him, I'm not going to be at peace with my wife or my boys. If I'm not at peace with him, I'm not going to be at peace with other members of my family or extended family. If I'm not at peace with him, there's always going to be a struggle somewhere. All right between me and an individual. I'm telling you the past couple of years I, I've, I've been uh, God, God has really had me on the operating table. He's pulled some stuff out of me and he's still pulling some things out of me. But I believe Brother Driscoll that when it's over there is a new level there is a new yeah. dimension. All right. Come on. It's all a part yeah. of drawing us closer Amen. to Him. Yeah. We pray whatever it takes that the musicians would come for my will to break, whatever it takes to draw closer to you. That's what I'm willing to do. But when we pray whatever it takes, then things are going to happen in our lives that we never dreamed or we never thought would happen. Right. There will be misunderstandings. There will be hurt. There will be backstabbing. There will be other things. But through it all, all right. God is working on us. Yes. And God is yes. saying, I'm wanting to draw you all close right. to me. I'm yes. wanting to have a relationship yes, with sir. you. Yes, sir. Come on. That's good. I shut that up. Yes. I know I understand the brevity of what I have preached tonight but I also understand the simplicity of the whole issue it's just finding my peace with God and in finding my peace with God 
I learn and he directs me how to pursue peace with all men and then holiness. Does anyone want to come? My God, in the name of Jesus, we love you.